them big wheels of rubber Gonna rubber off of my mind Well, I'm a highway junkie and I need that old white line What's going on, YouTube? I know it's been a minute since I threw up a video But finally made it home To my friend's shop where I parked my truck at Got a load on here that I'll deliver Monday morning. Oh, I know it's been a it's been a little over a month since I put up a video. It's just been a been super busy trying to catch up from the winter time, but thankfully rates are picking up. I haven't really been home over the last four months. I think I've been home a total of four and a half, five days over the last four months. It's been uh been busy so I got this load of steel I-beams here and I've definitely over secured it but uh, it's 46,000 pounds of I-beams but there's uh there's been some uh, news stories lately about driver dying a couple of drivers or a driver getting hurt and so I definitely uh, <laughs> I think I got eight chains on here and two straps one strap in the front one in the back but uh so yeah, I got all the chains alternating except in the back too. Kind of messed up, but it is what it is. So I'm home Wednesday. My wife's scheduled to go in to give birth. So here's the other side. Got the chains all wrapped on the binders, all nice. I even had a level two DOT inspection. Uh, on US 78 coming out of Memphis going into Mississippi and uh, let me turn the camera so yeah I know it's been a while but I'm home now happy to be home I had someone comment on a video earlier so I thought I'd throw up a video uh, especially for him since he was, he was looking for new videos but the rates are starting to come up and I wanted to stay out to make up the winter because after the breakdown it just seemed to be one thing after another as far as rates being down loads not being there having a dead head a while um just kind of running more miles in the winter time and just trying to keep my truck moving and thankfully the rates are coming up and uh my last few loads have been really good made some money back and uh, that's what i've been doing so i'm just gonna set this phone up here back up a little bit so that's what's been going on with me uh since the major breakdown there hasn't really been much going on i'm gonna do some work on the truck while i'm home uh replace the torque arms on my tractor change out the differential differential gear oil and give it a good wash uh loop, loop my truck and trailer just some preventative maintenance stuff so that's the plans while i'm home i'll try to get some video of that uh my friend here He's gonna help me at his shop. Um, he's a pretty busy fella. He runs his own authority and he has a boat shop here where I live at and works on boats, jet skis, all kinds of stuff. So I'm learning maintenance from him and at, the, at his shop right now, just hanging out with him for, for a little bit before my wife comes to get me. But that's the plan. So deliver this Monday, Wednesday, my wife's scheduled to go in early in the morning to be induced to give birth to our son. I'm just exhausted. I'm like mentally exhausted. Like I said, in the last four months, I think I've been home like a total of five days. Um, I stayed out over Christmas, deadheaded home 1,400 miles from Boston to home on the 30th of December or 30, 30th, yeah, or 29th, I don't know. I was home just in time for New Year's and uh, Spent New Year's at home and then went back out. And it's been, it feels good to be home, to take some time off. It's, uh, I don't mind staying out to make things happen, but there comes a point where you become counterproductive from staying out so long to where going home just makes sense. Well, obviously my wife's giving birth. If I want to stay married, definitely want to be home for that. And, uh, but I'm not sure what this video is about. I'm just talking, upload a YouTube video. And, uh, 
but the rates are coming back up and the money's coming back so this summer definitely going to do things a lot different than last summer um, and i'll put a video up about that of what i'm going to do different now or what i have been doing differently than what i did um my first six seven months here because in may it'll be a year at mercer years flown by and i don't know youtube i'm just tired right now i'm just i'm just burnt out ready to see the family so once the wife gets here I'm gonna forget that i even drive a truck for a few days well until monday till i gotta deliver this but that's what's going on in my life sorry i don't have anything super uh exciting content wise to tell you guys uh nothing no, no major breakdowns or anything i had a flat tire on my trailer got repaired small stuff but that's what's going on um if you guys want to know anything about how i run or anything like that you can feel free to leave a comment this down below in the comment section and i'll answer it uh but running a business and doing it all yourself you know it's tiring because you're doing more than just driving right finding your load calling customers you know going over your numbers it's uh just taking some getting used to so do you make more money as an owner op you do but you also do multiple jobs at once unless you have someone to help you my wife helps me sometimes but she's busy being a being a mom at home taking care of the kids and making sure they get to where they got to get to and all their after school activities and so she's busy all the time as well she basically has a bunch of full-time jobs so i'm gonna go home spend time with the family maybe drink a few beers and try to relax and regroup and head back out so i did get a dash cam for the truck though so if you're watching this part of the video um i'll show you guys which one i got um, I like it. I'm gonna get a bigger SD card for it. It came with a 16 gigabyte SD card, so I'm gonna get a bigger SD card for it. Um, try to figure out how to upload the videos from the dash cam to the phone, or maybe get a laptop or something. But uh, as soon as I put that dash cam in my truck, crazy shit started happening, and I almost took it out because it was just ridiculous. But that's what's going on. Just sitting here at the shop right now. So there's his truck, and then his reefer is, oh, his reefer's at the shop getting E-Track put into it. Um, his flatbed's on the corner, but here's some boats at his shop. He, uh, if you're ever in the area of Melbourne, Florida, he owns Dockside Marine off US-1. So if you ever want to get your boats looked at or worked on, you know, give him a, give him a holler knows what he's doing so any questions or comments just leave them below if you're not subscribed subscribe below y'all be safe out there and have a good one